All right, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the notes for section 4.2, and this is going to be part two of our notes, solving systems using substitution. This very first page that you're going to see, this next page here, this is actually from your notes from the other day, so you don't need to write this down again or, or copy this down. So you'll notice on the uh, file of notes that I put on Schoology, I do not have this slide on there, and that's only because you've already seen this. And so what we're going to focus on today is when we have these equations that are not solved for x or y already. So you'll notice this bottom equation, uh, we have one y, but we don't have y equals. And so where we start is we move the 2x over, and now I've got this single variable y solved for x, and then I can plug that in. So again, you have this in your notes the other day, so I'm not going to go through this whole example, but this is going to be our main focus today, is solving one of our equations for x or y, and then substituting it in. And we'll also have a couple word problems that will do uh, the same deal. All right, so this next example here, uh, we we're given two equations, 4y minus 2x equals 10, and 3y plus x equals 15. Notice this equation has 1x, and so that's where we're going to focus. We're going to move this 3y over to the other side by subtraction, and now we have this solved for x. So x is equal to negative 3y plus 15. Now that I have x by itself, I am going to plug this value into this top equation right here for x. And so that's what you're going to see. I have substituted or replaced x with negative 3y plus 15 because that's what x equals. Now I can multiply this here. So I'm going to distribute. So 4y is going to stay the same. Negative 2 times negative 3y is 6y minus 30 equal 10. I can add my y's together. So I get 10y minus 30 equal to 10. My next step, I can add 30 to the other side. So 10y is 40. And then ultimately, I will divide. And y is going to be 4. Like so. Now that I know that y is 4, I am going to plug that back in to the other equation. So now that I have y equals 4, I'm going to plug that back in here and solve for x. So notice I replace this y with 4. Negative 3 times 4 is 12. And I can add these two together to get 3. And then my last step, since I have x and y, I am going to write them as an ordered pair. And so what you'll see on your homework uh, for Monday, the first assignment this week, we are going to focus on problems like this, where we have two equations and we have to solve one of them for x or y first. Always look for 1x or 1y. That's going to be our equation where we start. And then we can use substitution to go from there. We'll also see some word problems this week, and that's where I'm going to head next. And you'll see that the word problems, uh, once we have the equations and defined the variables, will be very similar to this as far as our setup. So we'll go ahead and, and transition to that next. All right, so we got a snack bar here where it can be at the community pool, it can be at the roller skate place, it can be at the bowling alley, it can be at school, it doesn't matter. So we got a snack bar, and they're selling two sizes of snack packs, the large and the small. You can see the large one here is $5, and the small one's 3 In one day, they sold 60 total snack packs for a total of $220. Uh, so first thing we got to do is define our variable. So we'll let x be the large snack pack and y be the small one. They sold 60 of these total, so x plus y equals 60. And our second equation, we know the large one was $5, the small one was $3, and they made 220 total. So that's my two equations here. I've got the two snack packs all told. We sold 60 of them. And then when we take the cost of each one, uh, that equals $220. You could solve this equation for x or y. I just solved it for y. 
So I subtracted x from both sides and got to this point right here, y equals 60 minus x. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for x equals or y equals. So now that I have y equals, I am going to plug that in right there for y. And so I plugged in 60 minus x for y. We're going to go ahead and distribute here. So when I distribute, I get uh, 5x plus 180 minus 3x equal to 220. And then we will continue here. Give me one second. And so when we do that, 5x minus 3x is 2x plus 180. We'll subtract the 180 from both sides. And in our last step, we'll divide by negative 2, and we know that x is 20. So we know we got 20 large snack packs. Now, if you remember back with our other equation here, we solved this one for y. We know we had 60 snack packs total, and we solved for y. And so I just brought that equation down right here. We know y is 60 minus x. Plug the 20 in for x. 60 minus 20 will give me 40. So 20 large snack packs, 40 small ones. And so that is our solution for this word problem. So again, we start by writing our equations, then we're going to solve one of them for x or y, and then we can continue by doing substitution. All right, you pay $22 to rent uh, some movies and video games, and the store charges $4 per movie and $2 per game, and then it says, uh, how many games did you rent if you rented six items total? So we know, first thing we can do, to find our variables. We'll let X be movies, Y be games. We rented a total of six items. So the sum of our movies and games was six. I subtracted X from that right away to solve for Y. So I know Y is six minus X. They gave us the cost as well. So $4 per movie. $2 per game, and we spent a total of $22. Now that I know y is 6 minus x, I am going to plug that in right there. And so when I go to solve my equation, I'll plug 6 minus x in for y here. Again, we're going to distribute. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. I can combine some like terms, so 4x minus 2x will give me 2x plus 12. Subtract the 12 from both sides. And I will get uh, 2x equal to 10. Then I can divide by 2, and x is 5. I think that might have got cut off a little bit by my video in the corner here, but we divide by 2, and x is equal to 5. At that point, I can plug this 5 back in here for x. And so 6 minus 5 is 1. So we know all told we rented 5 movies and 1 game. The total of that being $22. We got uh, one more word problem here and then we'll be done for the day. Alright, so Braxton here went to Burger World and he bought 3 hamburgers and 2 fries for $13.50. Mr. Jones also went there and he bought four hamburgers and one fry for $15.50. So first thing we'll do, we'll define our variables and get our equations, and that's going to be right here. So we'll let X be our burgers, Y be our fries, and we got our two equations. For Braxton, he had three burgers, two fries, $13.50. Mr. Jones had four burgers and one fry for $15.50. Again, you see that 1y, so that's the one I'm going to isolate first. So I subtracted 4x here, and y is negative 4x plus 1550. That's what I want. I want to get down to y equals or x equals. Now that I know that, I'm going to plug it back into this equation here. I'm going to plug this into Braxton's equation, which will allow me to solve for x. So that's where I'm going to start here. So notice this is Braxton's equation now, 3x plus 2y, but I replaced y with negative 4x plus 1550. Got to distribute here. So 2 times negative 4x is negative 8x. 2 times 1550 is $31. I can combine these two x terms, so that's negative 5x plus 31 equals 1350. 
I'm going to subtract $31. And so when I subtract my $31, I'm going to get down to negative $17.50. And that's okay because we're going to divide by a negative. So we divide by negative 5, and we find x is 350. So we now know that a burger costs $3.50. Now that I know what the burger cost, I can plug it back into this equation. And I can figure out how much fries are. So four times negative four times three fifty is negative fourteen. Add that to fifteen fifty and a fry is a dollar fifty. So we got three fifty per burger, dollar fifty per French fry. Again, just like the problems at the start of the notes, um, we start with two equations. So you can see we start with two equations. You're always looking for one X or one Y. That's the one that you're gonna isolate. And then we can use substitution. Uh, don't forget, if you have questions throughout the week, to uh, email myself or Mr. Stuvey. We'll definitely get back in touch with you and help out. And uh, we'll see you at the help sessions this week. All right. Thanks a lot.